Vince Call. You're from the Mega Age Real Estate Team, and we are in Calera, Alabama, on Ivy Hill Circle. Wanted to make sure I was right. It's Ivy Hill Circle, not Drive. And we are at a four-bedroom, two-bath house. It's a steal of a deal, and I just want to share it with you. So I came out here with producer Allie, and we are out here, and y'all want to take a look because it is hot as blue blazes in here. So let's go on in. This is a, as, as I said, four bedroom house, $175,000, open floor concept. Look at this. Look at this space. I mean, one of the best things about this house is you have a dining room area here. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Great job for him. Open floor concept here. Pretty awesome. Obviously, we're gonna get to the kitchen in a minute, but look at this space. I mean, look at it. You have two walls, two, how about two? So you can you can go this way or that way with the TV, or go over the over the uh, fireplace. I mean, how awesome is that, right? I bet you're wondering where's the kitchen? It's right over here. Here's the kitchen, breakfast bar. You feed the kiddos right there. It'd be a pretty tall. Uh, uh, bar stool, but hey, anyway, lots of, look at these nice counters. I love this. Hallie, don't you just love this? I mean, yes. this color is classic, and it's awesome. It's in style. Hey, with these bulls. I mean, I mean, top-notch style. Anyway, uh, great floors, but over here, you got another breakfast area. Hey, I mean, you got to feed the whole family. Kids table here, big boys table, or big girls table, whoever you are. Whatever you're doing, hey, the adults over there. So good. You do have a pantry right there. Uh, all right, Hallie wants me to show you the pantry. Uh, congratulations. Here's the pantry. All right. Your bedroom. It's big. Did I say big? It's big. All right, here we go. Look at all this space. I mean, all this space. You actually have two walls that you can put the bed on. I'm telling you, with a lot of this new construction, especially in this price point, you're usually getting one wall, you're being told, hey, we can only put the bed this direction. Ha <laughs> ha, not with this house. Two directions. I know it's, hey, look, the women want to have what they want, right? You're giving it to them. By the way, it's big. Good, tall ceiling. All right, Hallie, you ready? Let's go to the bathroom. Not to the bathroom, let's go in the <laughs> bathroom, right? Dual sinks. You do have a garden tub over here. No jets, but hey, none of the builders are putting them in unless you pay extra for them. And hey, it's like your sunroof in your car. You don't use it. You don't use it. So hey, you're not going to miss anything, but you're going to be able to soak in this tub. You do have a shower over here. Uh, I mean, hey, it is what it is, but hey, what lady doesn't want to shave her legs? I mean, this is perfect. Oh, by the way. Look at my socks. See them? Very patriotic. Anyway, all right. How, this is the best feature of the entire house. Are you ready? Medicine cabinet. I mean, almost had about seven years of bad luck. Uh, full of deodorant. But anyway, this is an awesome space. Big. It's actually really big. Not kidding. All right, here we go. In here. Look at this massive closet. You can tell a woman does not live here. Uh, I mean, well, you can tell that a woman or a man doesn't live here by the fact there's no furniture. But, see all this? It's only a man's. But there's plenty of room. Look, I mean, he's got it separated in here, and there's tons of room. I mean, right, I turned my back on you. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Guest bathroom in here. Single vanity. I mean, traditional, but big, large shower. I mean, how awesome is that? Uh, all right, let us come in here. We do have another guest bedroom. This is probably the smallest of the three, of the four bedrooms that is uh, in the house. But guess what? Tons of natural light. Obviously, got the ceiling fan. Tons of that. But here is a great feature, especially when you have that growing family. A large. Women would say this is not a walk-in. Where is the light here? Well, there's not a light. But hey, it's easy to put one in, but hey, you can walk in. So by man's standards, 
walk-in closet. By woman standards, place to fill it up. So, all right, let's go this way and let's go take a look at another. By the way, the linen closet. And here we go. Let's see, we don't need to show the fan. This is a fan. Uh, this is one of the larger bedrooms. We're gonna get to the biggest one last. We saved the best for last. All right. Here we go into, I say here we go all the time, Hal. Because here we go, here's another closet. All right, so another closet, again, you're not being forced to shove the stuff in here. Your coats can just sit here, dresses. Guess what dresses can do? They can hang. They didn't, they didn't put just a bunch of racks here that are worthless. Your dresses, now if you're a guy and you're wearing a dress, what can I say? Hey, good for you. But, women love it. Telling you they do. Back to the front wing of the house. We're gonna go look at the fourth bedroom. Not one, two, or three bedrooms. The fourth. Look at this. Hey. I mean, you feel like George Jefferson moving on up. Alright, here we go. In here, it's perfectly set up as an office, just so you know. Uh, we got USB plugs already in. You got the cable line run, the coaxial cable run so that you can have internet right away. Make this your office, because it I mean, look at, I mean, it's natural, tons of natural light. You do have a closet that allows it to be a bedroom, and quite frankly, there's a number of configurations in here you put a bed, but you'll probably use it as an office, unless you just have a gaggle of kids, or family members, or your mother-in-law's moving in, well, yeah, I don't know. But probably not. All right, Holly says we have to go look at the, where the washing machine and the dryer go, better known as the laundry room. The laundry room. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. All these lights are like motion, so it's, it's throwing me off here a little bit. But here's the laundry room. It's nice. It's right off the kitchen. It's not in the kitchen. It's not like a laundry closet right in. But it is close enough to everything and also away from everything as well. But it's not away from one thing. Look at this. I mean, on top of being a great flat backyard, what a beautiful sky. Allie just ordered that up for us. One of the best things about this backyard is, if you look left and right here, you only have one run of fence you have to run here. Only one run do you have to run. So in other words, we can connect that side to that side, and you are now have a completed fence. And then, of course, you'll go on either side, and you'll put gates up, and you're finished. Pretty good, huh? That's awesome. It saves you a ton of money. So this house is already saving you money at 175,000. Did I say four bedrooms? Four bedrooms in Calera, 175, what a deal. Great construction too. But let's, even better here, relaxing to look over this flat backyard. Look at this. Look at this, tons of room. I mean, you can even add a ceiling fan. Add the TV, watch Auburn, watch Alabama, watch Southern Miss. Hey, I don't care. You'll have a great time. It'll be fun. Because this is an awesome view. Especially, we're getting it. Right now, we're sitting at about 2 o'clock. So, by the time the sun's starting to go down way over there, you're not even going to have to worry about the sun in your eyes or anything else. It's just going to be relaxing. So, for more information on this house, go to megaagents.com. That's M-E-G-A-A-G-E-N-T-S.com. Again, it's 175000 four-bedroom house. Spotless. I mean... It's hard to believe that a guy lived here. Really did, a guy. Well, I mean, I'm sure a guy, you could have other people, but single guy lived here and is spotless, which is awesome. Um, USDA financing, 100% financing, like I said. Uh, call David Arnett over at Mortgage Bank. If you're thinking about buying a house and you need to get qualified, this house in particular, call David. 413-7990, but for us, and you want more information, megaagents.com, again, and call me, 267-1520. That's 267-1520. And by the way, don't forget our Facebook Lives, David Arnett and I, for the Real Estate Happy Hour. It's the most fun you're ever going to have talking about real estate. Really will be, because we're kind of a big deal. 